Hey guys, it's Bobo the Vulture. Hey, it is Bean. It is Bean. It's time for more Let's Play Dragon Age. Oh, close that little pop-up, would you? Oh, but it's party camp. Yeah, oh man, that's even better than camp time. They should have made the party <laughs> camp. Woo! Oh my gosh, Bean's act. It worked? Yeah, Bean, she's... Great. Yeah. Hazel's playing with the toy that she never plays with. Good. All your party's injuries are healed when you return to camp. Each party member can be found somewhere in camp. Make an ideal location to hand out new equipment. Oh. Give gifts. We should give some gifts. Talk. Uh, I forget who gives what, but uh, we'll hey, get wait to a that second. in a minute. Ah, good to see you, my timely <laughs> rescuer. Bodon Feather, at your service. Once we... again. I was like, we know who you are. The kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. <coughs> I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Sounds yes. fantastic. Um. I'll allow it. <laughs> but watch yourself, Counselor. Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. You should need enchantments. Simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Oh. Enchantments? If there's anything I can do for you, please, please, tell me. Um, so, what's your story exactly? Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Yes. I'm originally from Orzammar, just as you are, I suspect. You don't have the look of a surface dwarf about you. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. <laughs> Go on. So, as I said, things were going well. Good things must come to an end. One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the dark spawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. No balls. They're touchy like that. Mm -hmm. Did he steal them? Well, I can understand why she was... Well, I don't know. Just tell me about it. Ah, yes, your brand. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> anyway, the woman, as I said, accused me of stealing the bracelets. Well... I didn't steal them. You see, I, I'd been paying these castly thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. Oh. The lost tars. Thugs, huh? They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Hmm. I see. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me. I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. Fascinating. Thank you. You're quite lucky to have done so well. Well, no. It's a fascinating story. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Peace. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Um... You didn't mention your son in your tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerim, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here. I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. I <coughs> took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the south. He may not be my blood, true. But I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. As <laughs> 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 generous of you. Mm -hmm. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boys are natural working with enchantments. 
He might have even been leery of addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. <laughs> um. <laughs> you should change your avatar to be Sandal. <laughs> You're a Sandal fan. <laughs> Enchantment. Enchantment. I mean, I wouldn't even change Enchantment. it to JoJo, just straight to Sandal. <laughs> uh, He's the real hero of this tale. Where do these goods come from? Not the deep roads. Look, we, we don't rob people, alright? We don't take things from people that need them. Things in the lost tides. What good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the darkspawn coming. Uh, what do you mean? People flee from the blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the dark spawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy Whoa. everything they touch. Touchy subject. Yeah, no, I didn't. I suppose it's better than having the dark spawn take it all. That's what I tell myself, too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. <coughs> dark times, my friend. Hmm, you heard any rumors? I hear tell they held a funeral in Denerim for King Kay. The Grand Cleric called for a full day of mourning and there was a procession a mile long passing by the Brazil. It's too bad they don't have a body to properly burn. What happened to him at the hands of those creatures, it's unthinkable. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Oh, walking by the, uh, Brazier? <laughs> That's a Dairy Queen that serves uh, hot food too, right? I think so, yeah. Nice. And crunch cones, man. Ah. Anybody else know about crunch cones? Come on. What do you know about crunch cones? What do you know about crunch cones? The maker, we They're delicious. Dan Logan at Ostagar. Uh. He out just in time, so he said. Without him, we'd be lost. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. No, we're not allowed to tell him that Logan's a jerk. I hear the Dwarven King is passed on. Old as he was, he was probably poisoned or assassinated. That's how the dwarves normally go out, isn't it? That's, what That's all I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take, Take it for what it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's see look his wares. Okay. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your, your discount. discount. Yes. All right, I know he's got a backpack. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, hang on. Let's see all those. Oh, so no, I actually didn't lose a lot of. Oh, Blood Dragon Plate Helmet. Mm. Like, I can't use that right now, but, like, that would be a part of a set with the. Uh, yeah. And these gauntlets. I guess he's going to have these, though. He'll he's have them, yeah. Them. <sighs> Can. So much nice stuff. He's got runes. Definitely get all the gifts. Do I want to do I want to have those right now or uh, hang on to them? I don't know. An Alistair doll. Oh, these are the gag gifts, I think. Some of them. Gag gifts? There, there was an April Fools' uh, <coughs> DLC oh. thing. So they're gifts, but they're gonna be like joke gifts. Oh, do they do anything or? I mean, we, we'll probably still pick them up eventually. We will, we'll have to see, because I don't remember a lot Ugly of them. Gifts, complete genealogy, gifts. Yeah, like, this seems like something to sort of go through then later. Thoughtful gift. <laughs> <laughs> 50 thoughtful gifts. <laughs> really? Lump of charcoal. Ah, oh boy. Chastity belt. Ha <laughs> ha. There's a backpack. It's oh, a lot of crudo here. Where's this backpack? Oh, there's this backpack. Jeez, ain't going for cheap, is it? No, but it'll be good to have. Oh, I know. Whoo! It's a lot of my money. Yep. Butterfly sword. B 
butterfly swords after evening rails. All right, uh, let's get rid of this dagger, cause uh, why? <laughs> Keep that uh, bow, though. Blood dragon point. Now, is there a uh, is there a trove I could have here? Like a what? storehouse? I could just um. Oh, uh, I don't remember. I think so. Oh golly! But not right now. All right. Yeah, just just a place where I can keep a bunch of like crap, basically. Yeah. I like think these there is. like these suits of armor and such that uh, I want to have, but I don't need to carry with me. Mm-hmm. That sort of thing. So they're hanging out over there. So you could probably give some people gifts now. I mean, um, I could. So that could give who but I want to go ahead and just do, like, at least the first sort of round of basic interactions with people before I start bribing them. Okay. What's up with you, Sandal? Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it <coughs> now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. But naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there <laughs> you have it. Uh, we don't have... Uh, do we have any runes? I don't think we do. Oh, farewell. Oh, you need runes. Okay, yeah, I yeah. thought he just needed lyrium. All right. She seems to have set herself up a tent slash scaffold match here. Morrigan, what's up with you? What do you wish of me? Um, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Um, how did you become a shape changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's. Taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. <laughs> yeah. Um. But it's just a legend, right? Well, no, let's... See, this is the thing. Uh, the, you get these three different decision points in any of these conversations, and none of them are exactly what I feel like I would say in the situation. <laughs> um, so I have to figure out what would closest emulate mine, or what the intent of any of these phrases is supposed to be. I know she likes to make jokes about her mom, so... Could we, do you think? Uh, or would she take I offense? I would say it's just a legend. It's just a legend, right? So I assume my mother has walked the wilds far longer than I. Who am I to suggest what things she has done and not done in her past? Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Um. Ooh. Can anyone be a shapeshifter? Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think <laughs> you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. And what do uh, other animals think of you when you've changed? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. Can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. 
I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. <laughs> Can uh, anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, I've never heard of magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of yeah, the circle right. of magi, despite what those mages would have well, you believe. I'm from a di pretty Some damn remote corner of the world, as it turns out. down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot such a practitioner. <laughs> um. That's good. Such traditions need to be preserved. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Do sound quite useful. Yeah, thank you, your abilities. So that does seem a little revolting. That would just make you angry, I think. That seems like a fun one. You think I should say that she's useful rather yes. than... Yes. Okay. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. Mm, but enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Oh, again, approves she plus approves six. She approves of us. Oh my gosh, we're going to be best friends. Well, you will notice here... Oh, wait, not, not from this... Uh, not from this group. Uh, no, don't go anywhere yet. I wanted to go to... Character records. Notice we do have alignment meters down here. Mm -hmm. Liliana. Oh, there we go, Stan. Morgan's is slightly higher now. Yay! Alistair's is also slightly higher. Lycus is at max. Because he's a dog and he's just gonna be, or yeah, she's just dog. gonna be super loyal, super loyal puppy. <sighs> you know, hmm? I almost, I almost like to save before I ever talk to Stan because <laughs> you don't want to make him mad. <laughs> I have a hard time figuring out what Stan's deal is, a lot of the time. Yeah. Why are we stopping? The um. We're working together. I think I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Um. I need to know if I can trust you with my back. Or are you alright? We're in that cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. I've uh, never seen a canary before. Tell me about your people. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe later. Oh, never mind. Let's keep it as you back. wish. <laughs> Stand of Ruth plus two. Okay. That's minor progress. He's a tough nut to crack. He so is. Like, <clears throat> that almost makes me want him all the more as a hot, hot lady. To be like, oh, Stan, he's so cold, and yet <laughs> I could change him. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there are romance options in this game, Not folks. for Stan. What are you talking about? I want to be his... <laughs> I want to be Stan's lover. I think you lover. need to wait till we get to Inquisition. <laughs> if I want to be Stan's lover. <laughs> I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Um, what was life like in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. 
in the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities. Oh, you couldn't I get flurries in the cloister? And in that stillness, oh, man. I, could hear the I wanted mini M&Ms and mm, soft serves. Cadbury McFlurry. Mm. Yeah. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Condescending. How so? When I talked about my beliefs, that the maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. Even the referees had disdain. That gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all. The sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Um. So, in this particular uh, world, I guess the primary religion among humans that are devout followers of any given religion, apparently, is that uh, God doesn't care for... Sorry, the maker doesn't care for the sick, weary, and downtrodden. Um, interesting. Hmm. So, what did you say to them? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says, and the Chantry is infallible, yes? Maybe I am wrong. But it is the maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. Snap! There is work to be done. And I have talked enough for now. My goodness. Aw, we had no change in alignment. I should have said I preferred her ideas to the Chantry. <laughs> oh well. I'm gonna I, you can do a bunch of conversations with people at a time, I think, but probably just gonna thread these out gradually. What like do you this. need? Do you need? Do you... Do you need to talk? Because you're a very sensitive soul. He is a sensitive ass soul. Very sensitive. Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. It's too soon. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... Doesn't mean I don't mourn his loss. Yeah. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this can happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it. Not when so much is riding on us. Not with the blight and, and everything. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. It's too late to apologize. Oh, it's too, too late. late. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. He had you. Sure did. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him. In the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. Yes, that is stupid. You'd be dead. No, I understand. Of course. I'd be dead then, wouldn't I? It's not like that would make him happier. I think he came from Hyeva. Or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. <laughs> Dwarves don't practice cremation, do they? How do your people honor your dead? In Japan, we use cremation to bury the dead. <laughs> Sorry, that was something uh, once said by uh, Paul Bearer, uh, who uh, is among the dead now, uh, unfortunately. God rest you. Percy Pringle. Um, he said, in Japan, they use cremation to bury the dead. Mm, I get it. Which, uh, uh, well... It's not burying. Yes. I and then of course it. he said, oh, what a bonfire Yokozuna would make, because he was talking about a guy who was a giant person who is pretended to be a sumo wrestler. Hmm. So, like, huge fire, because he's a big guy, yeah. Anyways, uh... We entomb our dead within the stone beneath our thegs. I heard about that, now that I think about it. Their spirits return to the rock, strengthening the foundation of the tide. Oh, tide. It sounds so strange. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Duncan is one of your people, however, not ours. I suppose you're right. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. I'd like to talk about my feelings. 
I feel maybe, so free. Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you when you go. Yeah. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Alistair Proust plus six. Woo! So interesting. I did not expect Leliana to be the one that uh, we did not manage to get a whole lot of personal interactions and such with. Well, it's early on. It is. So, there's still plenty of time. There's still plenty of game left. And uh, I like still over there, mm -hmm. which is fun. Is there anything else in the camp? I'm going to do just a quick walk around of the game, because actually, believe it or not, it's been... Yeah, it's been... <coughs> um, almost the amount of time of the video, so I'm just going to do a camp video here, and then... Uh, you see there's still plenty of empty space, so you would have to imagine that uh, we might run across more people. Now, he has a quest marker over him. Is that just because Try he's a shopkeeper? Try talking to him again. I don't know. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Ah, uh, you heard any rumors? Some folks aren't happy about Tian Logan being named Regent. No kidding. There are rumors he had something to do with the king's death. Oh, yeah. He Isn't did. the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? No. Nope. The mm -hmm. Darkspawn killed him, sure enough. If Tian Logan couldn't save the king from that end, then nobody could. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Ah, uh, there she go. Of course. Good fortune to you and yours. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye, everybody. When we come back next time, uh, I guess we're going to actually go out and um, do it upright. Okay. So uh, I guess we'll have to sort of probably sit for a moment here and figure out what exactly it is that we want to do mm -hmm. uh, from this point forward. But uh, we'll do that uh, and come back with uh, more excitement after that. This is Bobo the Vulture. And Bean. And this has been uh, Let's Play Dragon Age. Origins. Origins! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. Enchantment!